Hi, we're back. Thanks for staying with us. I'm joined now by Mr. Matt Chipman. He's the editor-in-chief of the Green Baron Report. Uh, Matt, good to see you. Glad to be here again, Don. Well, Matt, uh, you know, we like to wax about politics and the economy because the two are obviously intertwined. Uh, State of the Union address this week. Uh, I, I took it basically as what I call the same lame blame game. Uh, call for more spending when we're $15 trillion upside down. Uh, what's going on? Well, I mean, I, I'm hoping, you know, that some of the earnings from a few of these large companies, I mean, we had blowout earnings from Apple this, this week. Uh, it's nice to see that that's going to help us get there, but it's, it's not going to be all, you know, there are so many things that have to be done. I mean, we really got to cut spending, pension reform. We, we've got to uh, cut producing jobs from the government and produce them from the private sector. Right. I mean, I think that's what gets us out of this. Some, you know, and, and, and that's why the president ele election will be an interesting, you know, uh, time here in the next uh, six to nine well, months. Well, I think it will be an interesting time if the GOP can ever get out of its own way. I mean, yeah. they, they seem almost uh, intent on handing this thing to Obama, especially if the election were to be held next month. Thank goodness it's not that. But, you know, you know, we talked about this on, on the program before that, you know, the federal debt now is so out of control yeah. that if we started paying it down right now at the rate of $100 per second or $8.5 million a day, that's what $100 per second equates to, $8.5 million a day, we would pay off the principal in 735 years. <laughs> now that's scary. You think eight million a day? Gee, we knocked that out in a while. No, 735 we, years. We, there is about to be another major discussion about raising the debt ceiling. I know. That's coming up, and uh, it's scary. It really is. It's what keeps investors who are on the sidelines from investing in the markets because right. they just don't have the faith, the trust. I, I think people do have a, uh, more in savings than they've had in a little while. The housing market is bumping along, but I think that's bottoming unless we really make some you know, poor decisions, uh, uh, and, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that we elect the right people this time around that will make real change and, and take, you know, take some of this uh, spending and control it a little bit more, you know, we've, uh, and I don't see how we're going to tax our, our way out of this, you know. Well, you can't tax your way out of it. I mean, they, they, they seem to try to create this myth that if you increase capital gains taxes, uh, that's going to fix everything. But frankly, capital gains taxes are going to affect everyone that has a 401k. And you know, when they hit the age 59 and retirement age, and all of a sudden they find their capital gains being just hammered at 30 percent, uh, that's not killing the millionaires. Millionaires can afford 30 percent, but yeah. if they increase capital gains taxes on everyone, which is what they're talking about, it's going to hurt the middle class. I mean, the very thing they're saying they're trying to protect is the very thing they're going to destroy. I, I think uh, you know. I, I, I'm in the middle of the road. I think um, bumping up taxes on a few things is probably what we need, mm -hmm. uh, even though that goes against what I think we should do. We have spent, you know, our way to this point where we're really in trouble, and I think there is going to have to be, uh, you know, some some agreement on on somewhere in the middle to yeah. to get to get us there. I just, I'd like to see some changes occur on both sides of the fence to help get us out of this issue, these problems. One of, one of my business mentors many years ago, I think I was like 25 years old, and he, he gave me a piece of advice I'll never forget. He says, you know, Don, you can make a million dollars a year, but if you spend a million too, you're still broke. Well, we have to come to the realization that we have an aging population. Right. You know, we're, the baby boomers are going into retirement. Exactly. And so they just need to sit down and protect their wealth. You right. know, it's, it's, uh, you're not going to get it from the working class. So, no. you know, we have to realize that that's where we're headed. Well, Matt, our respective companies both pay a lot of attention to emerging companies. If people want to know more about what you're looking at, how can they get in touch with you? Just go to thegreenbaron.com. Click on any join icon. We'll start sending you our updates and newsletters. Uh, and also, we picked five stocks at the end of uh, December that are starting to move. I think three of them are still ready to, to pop. Those are the ones we like. Matt Chipman, Editor-in-Chief of the Green Baron Report, thegreenbaron.com. Uh, Matt, thanks so much. Thanks for having me on, Don.